guys, Little 360 here, and welcome to a uh, new series I'm starting called Pacifist Minecraft. So, um, <clears throat> basically, while I set this all up and stuff, I'm going to turn bonus chest on, just get started quick, but, um, <clears throat> um, basically this, uh, this idea came from Undertale, which I started playing again a while, just, uh, like, two days ago. Um, and, uh, I decided, you know what, that'd be pretty cool to try and do in Minecraft. So I'm gonna try and play Minecraft without killing anything. And, um, yeah, I'll just see how far I can get without doing it. So that means, like, uh, if I want to go to the end, I have to find Ender Pearls in chests. And, actually, never mind, I can't go to the end because Blaze, Blaze runs. I can't get those. Because I can't kill anything. Oh, no. Oh, well, I'll think of something. For this seed, I'm going to use... Undertale, because that's what I, that was what inspired this, so yeah. <clears throat> so let's build terrain and stuff. We spawn right here. So, oops, here's the bonus chest. Okay, not bad, not bad. Got some apples, pickaxe. That also means no killing like cows or animals or anything, you just do whatever. Um, <laughs> just eat like plants and stuff. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna start chopping down some trees and I'll see you guys in a sec. And I have a really good idea, so I'm just gonna quick clip through here. So I'm gonna make it so it's not not that I uh, not that I'm not going to hit any or kill anything, but I'm gonna make it impossible to kill anything. So uh, here, here's what I'll do. So I'm gonna in I'm gonna put this command block down like right here. Hang on, I gotta make sure. Yeah, gotta make sure it's surrounded by uh, by the uh, bedrocks. Uh huh. Okay. And let's go slash effect. You know, I'll do this off camera. I'm going to test to see if I can, like, punch something. I mean, I'm sure I can still punch it, but I don't think I can do damage to it. So I'm going to check this out. I f yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do any damage. Nope. Can't even punch him. Awesome. Perfect. Can I still, like, break blocks? Yes, I can. Awesome. Okay, so this is perfect. It's going great already, guys. Great already. I think I'm going to migrate over to these mountains here. Just to see what's up. Um possibly get some ores out of the walls and get some cobblestone without disrupting the landscape and stuff. Maybe find a place to make a, a space to have. It will be protected from monsters and it won't kill any of them. It will wait for them to despawn or something. I don't know. Basically, I'm not going to be able to get mob drops unless, like, the skeletons and zombies burn in the day, which is very possible to happen, which is kind of my only way to get, like, bones and stuff and arrows, besides crafting arrows. But who crafts arrows these days? Come on, people. Also means no iron farm, so uh, I gotta actually go mining for iron. That's gonna be fun, I suppose. <laughs> I just, I, I guess, I could trade for villagers for like diamond stuff, which is what I do a lot of times, like on my old let's play. No, I guess not let's play, but an old survival world. I just had a bunch of villagers uh, that I would trade for with, to get armor. And then I would just combine them together. Ooh, a power forest, it's pretty. Bits of coal. Here we go. Any time now. We're almost done with the vein. Just you wait. A lot of biomes around here, guys. I think I like this area. I might stay around here. That'd be pretty neat. All in all, I, I really like this seed. This seed is really good. Who would have thought? I mean, sure, Undertale's great, but who would have thought a Minecraft seed with the same name would be, would be just as great? Well, not just as great. I'm sure Undertale is still pretty great as well, but I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm not going to make judgments. I'm not going to state my opinion, because never, ever state your opinion on the internet. It's, it's like suicide. Just like, look at this amazing landscape. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. I think I'm going to make my uh, first craft table here. And there we go. Let's place that down and uh, make myself a better axe, for one thing. Oops. A uh, better axe. And then a uh, better, or another uh, pickaxe, because I'm going to need another one soon. So, yeah. But the one thing I will never make is a sword. I will never, ever make a sword. You know, I usually don't, like, make my base this close to world spawn, but really, I love this world spawn so much. The area around it is just amazing. It's just, it's beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. Okay, guys, here comes the tough part. Nighttime. I have to escape mobs without killing them. This is gonna be interesting. So I think I'm gonna film this part, uh, pretty much the whole thing. Uh, cause this is, uh, where I do my thing. <laughs> Uh, this is where the thing gets crazy, this um, this challenge, the pacifist minecraft challenge, uh, this is where it gets really difficult, because uh, you have to get away from mobs, can't kill them. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm almost out of hunger too. 
Oh boy. So, um, eventually, I might just need to hide in a hole for daytime to come. Uh, so I don't know. Um, that might be what it comes to. So, hopefully that doesn't happen, though. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Oh, there's the first mob. Let's avoid him skillfully. Good. This isn't, uh, I mean, sure, this is inspired on Undertale, but this isn't Undertale. I can't just go up and talk my way out of this. I have to, I have to escape. I have to run away. Um, let's see. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I think, uh, I think I'm just going to continue with what I'm doing and uh, work on my stuff. <laughs> and then uh, if something happens to come by... I'll just start recording again. Start working on making a farm. Uh, so hopefully all the mobs didn't see that I got that achievement. <laughs> just kidding. They can't see a thing. They're just mobs. <laughs> just kidding. The whole point is to say that they're not just mobs. They're people too. I don't know. Honestly, I have no clue how, what, what this is supposed to be or anything. All I know is that it's going to be fun. Hopefully. Maybe it's going to be horrible. Who knows? Maybe you guys know. If you're from the future and you're, like, watching ten episodes in advance first or something, I don't know. How am I supposed to know what you guys do in your life? I, 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 I'm just lost for words, guys. Zombie following me up here. Oh, boy. I think wolves will be very helpful, so if I, uh, if a skeleton dies uh, from the sunlight, then I'll take, his, I'll take its bones, probably. And, um, and then I'll tame a wolf or two. Hopefully then I can, uh... Can get some good, good uh, protection here with the wolves. Hopefully they don't just die on me. I might give wolves a health buff, perhaps. Although the wolves would kill stuff too, and wouldn't it count as my kill? Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. What do you guys think? Should I, uh, should I let wolves uh, kill stuff? I don't think I should. I think that's a bad choice. In fact. Oh boy. Okay. Now I can outrun zombies, but spiders are the things I was worried about. <laughs> oh boy. Here it comes. Here it comes. Ow. This is not going to be fun. Well, maybe it will be. I don't know. I'm sure it will be fun. But that's not what I meant. I meant, like, surviving this night won't be very fun. Oh, good grief. I'm running out of things to say, and I'm running away from spiders. And Did I run, outrun it? I think I did. Yes! Oh, skeleton. Oh, boy. So, I'm pretty much uh, cornered over here. But I'm still looking for more seats. So, uh, see you guys in a second if I get into trouble. Run, run, run. <laughs> yeah. It's getting difficult. But I, have, I can get mushroom stew if I... Need some food because I got the uh, mushroom. Th oh, great creepers! That's always great. That's always just loads of fun, guys. Creepers. Ugh. Everywhere I turn, there's another mob. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. This is not going well. I mean, it's it's going great, guys. I haven't killed anything yet, but it's only the first night, and I'm already having to run around. I suppose once I get a house, it won't have too much of an issue, I guess. But I don't know. It's, at least I haven't run into a skeleton yet, like, that wants to kill me. Um, because those are the things that I'm most concerned about, because of the ranged attack, and I, I wouldn't be able to attack them either way. So, oh uh, boy, I don't know. I just don't know, guys. Wow, just, just wow, guys, come on. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is quite, quite the, um, quite the, uh, conundrum I've gotten myself into. <sighs> oh, oh no. I just heard a skeleton shoot a shoot a wolf. Oh no, the wolves kill the skeletons, don't they? <gasps> and if they're not my tamed wolves, then, then that would be pretty neat. I could just have them outside my house with an ink tag, and they wouldn't be my tamed wolves, so it wouldn't be my kill. <gasps> Although I'd kind of be setting things up to get killed. <clears throat> so I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know, I'm out of food. Oh, I don't want to go into the dark oak forest, but... I kind of have to to get some mushroom stew. Ugh. Oh boy. Did he see me? I don't think he saw me. I'm with you if that's cool. Skeletons are scared of you guys, so I mean, you know. I'm watching you. I'm starting to descend, so that's pretty good. We're getting to the... We're, we're over the hump. Halfway there. Oh boy. <laughs> How many times have I said that this episode? It's just... Ah, it's just very stressful. Oh, these wolves, I have to stop them from killing the skeleton. Oh no. Ah, creeper. Maybe later, maybe later. Oh no, there's two of them. And there's a zombie. Good, good. 
Good. We're all having fun today. An Enderman. Hi, Enderman. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. Run away. 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 Oh, my goodness. Whew. This is quite, quite the game, huh? Okay, sink to the bottom. Sink to the bottom. Uh, dig out a little hole for you to survive in. That'd be fun, right? 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 Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can make it. Oh, I can do it. I can do it. Yes! Oh, boy. Oh, no, no, no. It didn't work. It didn't work. Whew. Oh, quick thinking on my part, and I'm happy that I'm awesome. Whew. I'm just gonna stay here for the rest of the night. If that's alright with you guys. Oh, boy. It's gonna be a long night. Maybe I should just build my entire base underwater. That'd be pretty neat, right? No sunlight, but it'd be great. I think the sun's coming out. I think the sun's coming out. Oh, nope, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, well, it's coming out, but it's not, um, it's not out yet. <laughs> it's getting pretty close, though, pretty close. Oh, boy. I realize now that there are a lot of trees, zombies and skeletons can hide under them. But, um, you know, I mean, if, if they're just... Uh, I, I don't know where those bones came from. I mean, they're just lining up in a pi pack of wolves. I mean, it's not like... Not like I told the wolves to go attack, okay? I, or maybe they didn't attack anything. Maybe these are just fake bones that were left here for no reason. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, four fake bones. So, uh, one reason that I avoided the, um, dark oak forest is because, uh, because first of all, mobs spawn in there like crazy, and second of all, I want to stay far away so, uh, mobs wouldn't spawn in it. Like, they would spawn closer to me, I think. I'm not exactly sure how spawning works, but I think that it has something to do with how far away you are. So, hopefully there aren't too many mobs in here. Because they can survive in the day under trees. So, I mean, hopefully it's not too bad. Get some of these mushrooms, though. Very helpful. There's a red mushroom. Uh, I got 13 brown mushrooms from the other one, but uh, let's see how many red mushrooms I can get. Alright. Leaf in here. What are you doing? Leaf. This is a mushroom's house, not yours. Okay, so let's make some bowls now. Uh-huh. Four bowls. Let's get some mushroom soup. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, sweet, sweet lady soup. Whew. Oh, yes. Perfect. You can never go wrong with a bowl of soup. You know that? You know that, guys? Did you know that? I did, in fact, because I'm the one who made it up. But in that case, might as well get some. Are you kidding me? I've been chopping down so many spruce trees, and I already have more dark oak. <laughs> What, what is it, opposite day? What, huh, funny or something, perhaps? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just like the worst guy in the world or something. I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's just, this is not what I do. Now that it's day, I can uh, work without being in fear of losing my life. Or somebody else's life, as a matter of fact. Because, right, like I said many times, this is the pacifist Minecraft challenge. So, yeah. It's going to be fun. Um, let's see. Ah... Uh, do I have any seeds yet? Ooh, there's a seed. I have three seeds now. Perfect. Well, not perfect. I could use some more, but better than nothing is what I mean. I'm going to spend most of this day uh, getting some mushrooms and stuff ready so I can get some food. Then uh, at night, I'm going to go into the caves and start mining for some stuff. I think that's my plan. Because uh, until I get a better food supply or a fish farm, maybe... Uh, actually, wait, does fishing count as killing something? I, I mean, fish the fish weren't alive, but... Eating fish is like eating something living, right? Ooh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about that one. Oops, water's down below. I, I knew that. I had that idea in my head the whole time. Zombie, run away. Run away. Run away from zombie, because he's not very nice. Oh, snap. Get him into the sunlight, perhaps. That could work. Come on, buddy. Follow me into the sunlight. Into the sunlight. Let's see. Let's bring him this way. Ah! Oh no, this is not the sunlight. In fact, it's the opposite of the sunlight. Run away, run, run away. Run away, run away, run away. Run away. Dead. Yeah. No, that didn't help at all. I think I can run past him? I think I can do that? That might work. That might work very well, in fact. Okay. Okay, let's, let's lure him this way. Let's lure him this way. And I can swim past him. Aha! Aha! That's not gonna work. It's not gonna work at all. Okay, I need a bigger opening. That's my plan. Bigger opening. And then I can squeeze through. And he's trapped. What a loser you are. 
<laughs> Outsmarted by some some guy in his room playing Minecraft. <laughs> what a nerd. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Oh, ho, ho, look at the size of this mushroom. Wow. That's crazy. <sighs> oh well. Gotta go get it, I guess. I'll, I'll try and go to the tree tops. I don't want to ruin this forest. Look. Let's see. Excuse me, pig. I need to get in here and uh, mine some of these here. These here uh, mushrooms. Yes. Yes, indeed. How is it that I have 33 red mushrooms and 12 brown mushrooms? Doesn't make any sense. Because I've, I've taken out the same amount of trees. Does the red mushrooms have more uh, more places? More more likely to drop something? I don't know. Maybe. Probably is the case, in fact. <sighs> I just don't know, guys. There we go. Nice and almost even. Oops, no, I dropped them. Whew. Okay. The sun's going down for the second day. And, um... I'm gonna start heading to the caves. First, I'm gonna plant these seeds. So, yeah, I'm gonna go head to the caves and, uh... Try and get some mining done. But, uh, anyways, guys, that's all I got time for today, so, uh, thanks for watching the first episode of Pacifist Minecraft. Uh, so, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please hit the like button, and if you want to see more, then, uh, subscribe, and all that. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, I get my likes back. <laughs> uh, peace out, Girl Scout. May the force be with you. Seriously, where's that lag coming from?